Okay, what we've got here is the ring closed form of the beta anima of glucose. Um, things to note about this, there's some features to note about this, that the ring, the six membered ring pyranose, part of the molecule is fused now. The OH group at the anomeric carbon, being shown here, is in the in the equatorial position, this is known as the beta position, and the result of this locking is that the hydrogen is pointing down from the plane of the ring. In the alpha anima, the OH group is swapped with the hydrogen, and the hydrogen takes the place of the OH group. And the next phase of the video is hopefully going to show how this comes about. And we're going to do that by showing the open chain form of the um, sugar. This is the open chain form. We've now broken the ring. The aldehyde functionality is um, obvious now here. The hydrogen of the aldehyde is pointing down. And the OH group that's going to react with the aldehyde is uh, being shown on the other side of the molecule. The attack of the OH group at one face of the aldehyde is going to re um, result in ring closure. This will lock the hydrogen in the down position and create an OH group that ends up in the beta anomeric position uh, in the plane of the ring. In this molecular mechanics software that's being used to display this, I'm now going to rotate the aldehyde around and that shows the opposite face of the aldehyde that the same OH can attack from across the ring. But this will now result in um, a, a different anima from ring closure and that anima will be the alpha anima in which the OH group from the aldehyde ring closure reaction will be locked down and the hydrogen will be in the plane of the ring uh, pointing away.